Welcome. Today we will be talking about the new Automatomus Hypervoice. Hypervoice is the first digital all Cat5 video doorphone system with IP compatible external wiring and dedicated riser protocol. The Hypervoice structure was designed to provide answers to the needs of any residential building complex. An unlimited number of devices and risers can be installed and managed by the system. Describing Hypervoice simply as a next generation digital video doorphone system is not enough. The versatility of the system and its modular features can be exploited to manage access control, video surveillance, burglar alarms and fire alarms, in addition to many other functions, in an integrated manner. This tutorial will introduce the architecture of Hypervoice, showing the devices in the system, describing the available functions, and finally illustrating some programming examples which will help to understand how simple system installation and configuration is. We will talk about the following topics. The first one is a general overview of the Hypervoice system, describing its strengths, modularity and flexibility. The second one is the system architecture, such as IP network and riser. Then we will talk about the wiring system, such as cables and connectors used. After this, we will show you some IP devices, such as multifunctional call module, server, etc. Then we will see some riser devices, for example, decoders, lift interface, and so on. We will also see different types of apartment devices. In the next topic, we will show you the integration of EPA voice with burglar alarm systems. Then we will talk about access control, messages, and panic alarms. And lastly, we will give some short information about system programming using front-end and smartphones or netbooks. Okay, let's start with the first topic. Now we are talking about the main technical features. Using digital video, Hypervoice achieves 30 frames per second, ensuring excellent video stream fluidity. Hypervoice also guarantees a high audio quality. Audio streams are handled at the maximum possible rate. What's more, Hypervoice is based on the SIP, Session Initiation Protocol standard, an open protocol which allows compatible devices to be connected in order to extend the system. We should say that Hypervoice is unlimited with regards to IP network extension and distances. In fact, it is fiber optical ready. In terms of the number of cool modules, risers, switchboards, and connectable users, for each building, Hypervoice allows up to 900 meters per riser, up to 1,080 users per riser, up to 16 door phones in each apartment. A large-sized system must be capable of managing several audio-video communications at the same time. Hypervoice can manage multiple audio-video communications between call modules and the same number of risers, or more generically, between various IP devices. The Hypervoice structure consists of an IP network used to connect all the digital devices in the system together. So which devices are connected to the IP network? Multifunctional call modules. Made of vandal-proof stainless steel, they incorporate a color camera, a 3.5-inch TFT display, and a proximity key reader for access control. Standalone proximity key readers. Any number of concierge switchboards based on a Windows Vista PC, also with touchscreen capability. The system server the core of Hypervoice, special decoders for activating loads or other functions on the IP backbone, video servers for connecting up to four traditional analog cameras, power over Ethernet switches for powering Hypervoice devices, an unlimited number of VoIP telephones compatible with SIP protocol, IP gateways used to connect the IP network to the riser, as we said before, the dedicated building riser is found after the IP gateway. Also on the riser, a 
a CAT5 cable is used. The main devices on the riser are typically four user distributors, power supply and lift interface. Inside each apartment, different video door phone models can be used with various aesthetic designs and functions. Among these are Imago is the new surface mounted hands free monitor with full duplex audio and 4 inch TFT display for perfect viewing from all angles. Sinio minimal style for an extra slim design. The Sinio monitor is the smallest on the market and soon available. Folio flush mounted with 3.5 inch TFT display available in both black and white. A new 7 inch surface mounted touchscreen monitor. Its large screen can be used to manage all system control functions directly from the monitor. Obviously, the Epo Voice system is also compatible with other Allmet apartment stations, such as the Atlantico monitor. Epo Voice uses a CAT5 cable for both the IP network and the building riser network. A CAT5 certified cable of any brand may therefore be used. Ordmet Domus supplies two types of cables with additional features. For IP network, CAT5 cable, reinforced black sheath, suitable for installation in cable ducts with 230 volts and cable pipes outside the building, typically road pipes. For riser and apartments, blue CAT5 cable suitable for installation in pipes with 230 volts. All connectors used to connect the devices to the network, IP and NOT, are RJ45 for easy and quick connections. The CAT5 cable uses rigid copper wires and therefore specific connectors must be used. Also in this case, Ormet supplies the right type of connectors. The connectors are marked in two different ways to distinguish between the connectors used on the IP network from the others. The word Ormet is printed on the connectors of the first type, while the word NOLAN is printed on those of the second type. The first IP device that we will explain is the multifunctional call module. The call module is made of vandal proof stainless steel and fitted with a wide angle camera, 3.5 inch TFT display and keypad for entering codes and searching resident names. A proximity reader is also integrated in the module. The call module can operate two electrical locks, one for a pedestrian door and a second one for the vehicle entrance gate. Each call module can be configured as a main device, typically installed outside the structure, or as a secondary device when installed at the building access door. Keeper Voice has no limits regarding the number of switchboards which can be installed in the system. A competence area can be attributed to each switchboard to manage calls inside the zone composed by main or secondary call modules, apartment stations, VoIP telephones and so on. The switchboard usually answers and screens all calls directed to apartment stations and routes them to the apartment as needed. When the switchboard is not manned, management of the zone may be routed to another switchboard in the system. Other switchboard functions are alarm management, diagnostics, Message management. VoIP telephones are connected to the IP network. These devices use a standard SIP protocol for communicating with EPA voice and behave to all effects as an apartment station installed on the IP network. They can be reached by the call modules, the switchboards, and other apartment stations. Typical installation locations include a porter's lodge, bar, and so on. Special decoders essentially consist of two output relays, each of which can be activated by the EPA voice system according to configuration. For instance, to switch on the lights along an entrance path. Video servers will soon be available. Every video server will allow the connection of up to four analog cameras to the system for video surveillance monitoring. The device is required to convert the analog video signal to the digital standard handled by EPA voice devices. Well, let's now take a brief look at riser devices. 
The main device is the IP gateway. It has the task of governing the data and audio-video information traffic from the IP world to the building riser and vice versa. Other devices are found on the riser, some of which are essential for IPA voice operation, while others are optional and depend on the functions required. The four user